especially as this has also been promised at the EU-AU summit from European side that they said, okay, we're holding countries more accountable. We want to do also like control more uh, what happens to our funds and especially uh, in these times where you see also like a shift from democracy to autocratic systems everywhere in the world that you also see, okay, Europe takes a leading role and Europe demands that actually the country is also like changing this, this perspective on, on these systems. Um, yeah, one, one last question that I would have to you uh, would be like, what is the way forward from your perspective also in terms of the elections in 2024 uh, on a local level and the parliamentary elections 2025? So what can your party and what uh, can you basically also do until then to then have an accountable system where Shadema, for example, can run and um, be a credible op opposition party within a system that you accept? That's a very good question. Uh, after the trauma of uh, the 2019 local elections and the 2020 general elections, we have said as a party that our, our most urgent question is of democratic reforms. Uh, get, getting our country a new democratic constitution which will have a, a, a reformed, democratic, and accountable electoral system with a new electoral commission which will be able to uh, manage our elections in a manner which, which, is, which is fair which is, and which is credible. We have said, and I will say it again, I cannot see ourselves as a party going to the el next elections in, 20, in 2024 and 2025 under the current arrangements. We will not, because that will be repeating the mistakes of 2019, 2020 and of the previous years as well. Therefore, our most important and urgent mission now is one of reform. Once we have put in a new constitutional uh, arrangement, which is more democratic, once we have a new and democratic electoral system, then we can talk of participating in the elections, which we can, be, we can be sure will be free, fair, and credible. We cannot talk of, of, of preparing for the next, the, the forthcoming elections in a situation where uh, it, it is the, the president and her party who decide the rules of the game, who decides who should play the game, who decides how the, 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 the game should be played, and who keeps on changing the goals, the goal posts when uh, we, we look like we are about to score some goals. We, we cannot. And therefore, we want our friends to understand that uh, we need a free, fair, and credible electoral system. And therefore, they should support our quest for, for reforms. Once we have that, we have never feared facing the Tanzanian people and asking for their electoral support, but not under these, under these arrangements. So summarizing, you mentioned three demands that you also have for the, the Western community. What are those? Well, it's not really demands from the, the, the Western, Western countries. We cannot demand of them. We understand that um, the, the business of uh, reforming our country is, uh, should be discharged by the people of Tanzania, by us. Uh, we, we cannot T uh, tell others we cannot leave it to others to clean up our our you know debt debt house that is our responsibility but we are asking our western friends to help us in that task which is basically ours and we ask their support because of the importance of their their relationship with Tanzania, which I have, I have explained. These are our partners. They have been our partners all these years. They matter to us. And I like to believe that we matter to them as well. 
And therefore, we, we are asking for solidarity. We are not asking for someone to do our data work for us. No, we are asking for solidarity so that we are able to, to do that which uh, we are uh, required to do to create a democratic Tanzania. Uh, it, it, because of the, the importance that Europe has played, uh, not standing up and demanding accountability is and will be seen as supporting status quo because the support that you provide and which is uh, uh, channeled through the government has always been seen and presented to the Tanzanian people as approval of government policies. And uh, Europe cannot uh, run away from that, that responsibility. No, I think also that Europe has the responsibility to stand up because I think they're also a bigger leader than they sometimes think they are uh, in itself, as we also like experienced in some of the meetings. Uh, and I think also now is the time to, to stand up for democracy.